up here at Maple Motors and I got this 1967 Camaro for sale for $26.9. You can check our website, maplemotors.com. I got 100 detailed pictures inside and out. This is stock number 269. I'll do a little walk around, pick out any kind of flaws I can find. If you like my videos, please subscribe. I post these cars every single day. The paint on this car seems to be in pretty good condition. Run down the side, make sure there ain't no rust bubbles popping up, any kind of cracks in the paint. This is a strong running car here. So we've got a little bit of chipping going on on the door at the bottom. So the seals right here up top are a little bit dry rotten. They look good at the bottom though. There's some clear coat right here on the back. Just starting to peel up. As you can see, the trunk still looks good. I know there was a little spot in the wing. Looks like the rear bumper may be new. some chipping on the bottom part right here. A lot of paint chips down by the road, so. Looks like it's got some kind of boosters for the six by nines in the deck lid. Vinyl top's in good shape. There's also a chip right here behind the our driver's door. Let me grab the keys of the trunk before I forget. We'll open it up, see if it leaks. Found it. The trunk key is the small key. Looks like it does have a little bit of leaks. And it looks like they're coming from right there. The seals actually look new on it. sure a lot of times it comes from these little cracks Which that's not there anymore so. we had a lot of rain yesterday too so that little bit of water is not too bad I'm sure this car will be stored indoors once it leaves the lot but yeah, it is the small key. Check the inside out here. I actually like the cup holders that they put in there. I think it looks cool. And that's what, the, all of these cars need some cup holders. Headliner's not in the greatest shape, but it's not ripped up. It's just kind of stretched out looking.
There's some paint chips on the inside of this door jam. <clears throat> Dash pad's looking fairly clean. RPM gauge comes up, so does the speedometer. It works as well. It says 98,000 on it. So we don't stand behind the miles, especially being a 67 model. Uh, oil pressure gauge is working. Uh, the fuel was working, the temperature is working, and seems like the battery is as well. Like I said, I kind of like the cup holder. We got wheel locks on the car, so nobody can steal the wheels off. Uh, I believe this is an electric fan. It's got the seatbelt holders. You get out here and see if that switch works as a fan. There's a couple other little switches under the dash too. I don't know if they had some extra lights. But no, there's not gonna be a... Try that under the dash. that controls the other fan. MapleMotors.com. We got about 100 detailed pictures on there of every car. If you like my page, please subscribe, share it. Thanks again.